Hi and welcome to the Fabled Woods. This is a demo that is available on Steam right now. It's free, so if you like it as well, go and check it out. I'm doing something a little bit different this time. There's no face cam, just commentary. Let me know if you guys are happy for me to do this sometimes. I do prefer the webcam, but I just wanted to try something different. Let's see what's in store for us in the Fabled Woods. Visitor, what do I say? <laughs> it's been so long since I've had company. Hi. Hello there. What a surprise. Not a lot of folks come and visit these parts, especially in light of everything that's happened here. My name's Larry. Hi, Larry. I was here in search of my son, William. He went missing years ago while camping at the cabin we had built together when he was a boy. Explore these woods like oh. I once did. I must warn you, however, there are things you may discover that will be difficult or strange to hear. Please listen so that we all may rest. Okay. This is so beautiful. I love this so much. I am actually a fan of walking simulators. I would like to interact with that butterfly. This is gorgeous oh you can choose two different paths to go on i think i would like to go on this path this one may be the path that is less chosen which is always a great place to start you don't always want to do what everyone else does I love it. I love the bird sounds. What's that? This feels so real. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all the birds in the sky. There are so many. I love this so much. With the world the way it is at the moment and a lot of us being unable to leave our homes, a place like this can really feel that you're there. It's just so peaceful. The beautiful music in the background. <gasps> a lake. I love it. I wonder if we can go swimming in the lake. No. Looks like there's a campsite over there. I do have to wonder though if Larry, the man that we spoke to in the beginning, he was looking for his son, William. I'm so happy we decided to go camping. Oh, it's so peaceful in the woods. Hmm. I think that it was peaceful but something quickly went wrong. A bag? Is there anything I can do with a bag? No. That has to be Larry's or William's bag though, for sure. What's that? I'm not too sure what that is. I'm sorry, life has become such a mess. Wow. What's happened here? I love how she said their life has become such a mess and you can just see this disarray and chaos of the campsite. And uh, what is that? I wasn't expecting to see what I believe is blood. Huh. I... I thought this was a nice game. <laughs> okay, <gasps> look, there's blood and you can see two tracks. Whatever, ha whatever happened here, I think it's been dragged 
out. Aw. I hope this hasn't turned into a scary game. I wasn't really expecting that at all. <gasps> more, more blood. Okay. There are still more secrets to learn. Okay. So we cannot progress until we discover more. All right. Well, maybe I need to do more things. Oh. What are you doing? Let go of him. Leave us alone. Stop. Okay. Stop. <gasps> okay. So it looks like they had an unwanted visitor for sure. Oh, this is not good. Okay, we've managed to make it through now as we discovered that last secret. Oh, wow. Where are we? <gasps> what is this? Oh my goodness. Why did you do this? Oh, what is that on the water? Where is William? What did you do with him? Oh no. Okay. I just wanted to find my son. That's the fireplace at the camp, the campfire. Yes. This must be before that happened. This is before. Oh, no, it's not. It, it might be. It's a very similar fireplace to what we just saw, wasn't it? There's something in there. I'm not sure what that is. There's a few bits and pieces in the fireplace. Fire brings people together out here. You understand. When the chores around the cabin were done, William would always beg to get a fire going by the river. <laughs> of course, it always started out as a much larger fire than we needed for our little pit. <laughs> Nothing to distract you. No worries, guilt. We were at peace with the world. Hmm. I do love a fireplace going when we're out camping. There's nothing better, is there? Kill all. Insect repellent, sweat resistant. I don't like the name of the <laughs> of the brand Kill All. This is their Oh, that's their cooler. Okay. They've been drinking. Tiger Brewery. Right. Hmm. There's nothing really to discover in their little tent. Oh, a football. That must be Williams. This looks lovely here though. But obviously not everything is as it seems. We can't go in. What is in there? It looks quite generic, but I would love to go in. I don't think I'm able to. Hmm. Chairs scattered. Really strange. I don't know why everything is in such disarray. There's a note. I would really love to go in there. Hmm. Maybe that's something we can go back to. I can see two paths again. Oh, that's that's the original place, isn't it? No. This is so serene, but clearly it's uh, not what it seems. We have a key, that must be for the door. Cabin key, fantastic. <laughs> Very rustic. 
there's not much I can do with the items except pick them up to have a look at. Swine brew. That sounds tasty. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself feeling like you're being watched? I swear it on my <laughs> life, as I was fishing right here on this lake, mm. there was something watching me. Something. I grabbed my binoculars to take a look, but I saw nothing. It felt like something was staring right at me. I know bears roam these parts, right. but this was not a bear. Whatever it was, I got the sense it did not want me here. Right. You know, when I downloaded the demo of this game, I did not expect anything that would be remotely creepy. I thought it would be a lovely little journey into the woods. <laughs> the place feels so empty without William. It's held up well over the years. Seems like a blink of the eye since we were last here together. Hmm. Right. Backpack. Oh, there's a few bits and pieces in there. Scissors, walkie talkies. I can't take anything with me though. That would be very handy. Oh, a knife and a torch. Why can I not take these items? Another key. Oh, a spare room key. Okay, so that must be for that door over there. We'll make our way there very soon. More alcohol. Grandpa's walker. <laughs> he might need his walker after drinking all that. Look at this oh, garbage. What is it? They were laughing at me. Told me to go back to the cabin and oh. stay out of the sun for a bit. This town has had too many disappearances mm. over the years. The police couldn't even find my son. It isn't safe out here. They need to be warning the people not to come into these woods until the disappearances have been solved. There is something happening out here and no one will do a dang thing about it. Such a shame. Okay, so what is this? Eccentric and reclusive hermit claims monster sighting. Despite there being no leads to the recent disappearances, a well-known local recluse claims to have solved the case. Our source reports seeing the man, Larry, on one of his rare appearances in town, pay a visit to the local police. According to the witness, Larry was ranting about a wolf-like creature that he claimed hunts among the trees and had menaced him on several occasions. Okay. So Larry has seen things in the woods, which he mentioned before when he was looking at the binoculars. Just little bits and pots and pans. I don't think there's anything to see here, but sometimes I wonder if there's anything underneath. A little, a little secret. I would love to be carrying a knife with me. Why can we not? What's that? Bits of burnt newspaper. Very strange. You ever see something and just get a real sense you shouldn't be where you are? That bottle you're looking at is what started this whole mess. Okay. Turns out mine wasn't the only cabin out here anymore. Next to that cabin was a cage, but oh. it wasn't empty. And it weren't no bear. It had fur, oh. gray and black like a wolf. Right. But it also had skin, rough like a man. Okay. I couldn't make sense of what I was seeing. I grabbed this bottle, hoping it might help me figure out what was going on. Why would that? Rezo... Rezo cynical. I'm not... I'm not even sure what that is. I don't even know at all. I may have to look that up and see exactly what that... what that is. There's um, a ladder, but I don't think we can get up that ladder. There's a few things up there. It's just standard stuff, isn't it? Hot dog buns. Very nice. That would have been a lovely meal. But I'm, not, I'm unable to take 
any of this stuff and I I would love to. Okay. We've got the key to this room. So what have we found in here? <gasps> oh my god. I gotta close that door. Whoa. <laughs> Turns out that machete weren't much use, was it? Sorry you had to see this. What? But you can't see the whole puzzle unless you got yourself all the pieces. This is where my story ends, but yours carries on. I was never able to find my son, oh. but I know he's out there somewhere. Oh. He would have followed the path up the hill. There's a clearing just on the other side. Follow the river till it ends. That should get you there. Though I would dearly love to what? follow, I can go no further than this, as my spirit is stuck here oh. in this cabin amongst the trees. Go now. There are more stories to be told. Oh, wow. More secrets waiting to be discovered. Succeed where I failed. Maybe then we can finally rest peacefully. Oh. That is so sad. That's Larry. That's the man. What happened to him? Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure what happened to him. This is terrible. So he... Ha he was just wanting to find his son and someone did this to him I, is it that creature that he spoke about oh oh my goodness poor guy so it looks like it's up to us now to find out what happened to him and his son <gasps> oh I honestly cannot believe I didn't see the blood before this is kind of scary it's freaking me out a little bit I'm not gonna lie so he said his son would have went up the hill here oh my William is it possible for us to find William and he'll be okay how long has Larry been there like that? He's nothing but a skeleton now. I don't have much hope we're going to find William at all. This is a beautiful place and so peaceful. But it holds so much danger and negativity and death. I came here looking for my son. <sighs> There are no animals here, but there are bones. Wow. Something's out there watching me. Why won't anyone listen? Wow. It doesn't make any sense. Why was I so stupid to trust them? The bones were everywhere. Like the body was torn apart. <gasps> <laughs> I just wow. wanted to find my son. Wow. That absolutely has got me hooked now. That was incredible. It's not what I expected at all. <laughs> That is nothing like what I expected. I expected a game that was peaceful and walking through the woods and having a nice time just with no particular objective, just walking and exploring. It's nothing like that. We've been left with this big mystery and the sad death of Larry. We have no idea where his son William is or what's happened to him, but I am pretty sure he has been taken by that wolf-like creature that Larry spoke about. 
This was amazing and although I found it to be a little bit tense, it, it wasn't scary but I was quite apprehensive and anxious when playing it but then I am a little bit wimpy. Even though it has those tense elements, I am very much hooked now and I want to find out what happens next. This was fantastic. I am definitely going to be looking out for the full version when it's released. If you guys want to play this yourself, it's on Steam. So just search for The Fabled Woods. I'm not too sure when it comes out, but hopefully soon as I want to continue on with this story very much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Bye.